Good afternoon, everyone. Aaron here with AV Astronomy. So today we're going to be talking about the Sviboni 50 millimeter guide scope. Sviboni had reached out to me and was kind enough to send me one of these for a review. So I'm really excited about this one because it'll be, I think, a great comparison with what's already out there. Um, you know, ZenWO, Orion are some of the more common brands of guide scopes that you see on the market for the beginner to intermediate astrophotographer. And they usually retail somewhere between one and two hundred dollars and come between 40 to 60 millimeter apertures. This one here is 50 and it comes in at 190 millimeter focal length and f 3.8 which is nice and fast. So let's open this thing up and take a look see what we have here. So no frills packaging, but you know, that's okay. Not much is going on there. Let's see what we have here. We've got, let me get this open. All right, there's your little dovetail mounting bar, okay, for the guide scope. Comes with some uh, bolts and an Allen key. These are the rings for mounting the scope to the dovetail and here's the scope all right all right let's see what we got anything. okay right out the gate i can tell the construction is very similar to to what you see from Orion, what you see from like GSOs, NWO, um, all metal construction, and it comes with a helical focuser, uh, which is very important because when you're trying to find focus these things to lock in on some stars for guiding, it really helps to have a fine focuser. With some scopes, you have to buy an additional piece to get that feature, and this comes with it. Let's go ahead and put these thumb screws in to lock this down. There you go, and that locks your, okay. So this screw right here is what locks the helical focuser down. So this thumb screw allows you to make large adjustments to focus right here, okay, that's nice. You can lock that down. And then you got the helical focuser here, which is very smooth, by the way. It's, the movement is nice and smooth. It's not rough, um, very nice, and it holds. There's no slippage. So once you get it focused where you want it, it's, it's gonna hold it there. And this thumb screw here is what locks down your helical focuser. So you loosen that to make an adjustment, tighten that down to lock it in place. Okay. And then these two, these two thumb screws here are for the camera. Like I said, this comes in at 50 millimeter, 190 millimeter focal length, f3.8, nice wide open aperture. This should pair very nicely with uh, cameras like the 120 mini mono by Zen WO and at this focal length and with the multi star guiding feature and that's a whole nother video if you haven't seen that I've got a video on that you can check in the description I'll put a link down there for it but it's it's a game changer you know it used to be that with scopes of this focal length you know once you got up to about 1200 millimeter focal length or longer you really needed to go with an OAG and I think with the multi star guiding that's going to be a game changer in that area. You're going to pro likely be able to go much further focal lengths before having to make that jump to an OAG. But I have high hopes for this. I think this is going to perform very nicely. It looks very well built, very solid. I like its compact compactness, uh, how compact it is. And I'm um, excited to get this on one of my scopes to try it out, see how it performs. I'm sure it'll perform very well, just like my other guide scope does and uh, I expect that I will get some nice guiding results out of this but yeah let's get this thing fully assembled and I'll show you all what it looks like Actually helps you line up if you if you hook up the dovetail 
before you tighten down the second one it'll help you get it aligned properly the uh, compression rings that is all right boom there we go mounted and ready to go awesome let's get this thing on a scope and just to give you a little size comparison, look at this. I mean, the form factor on this is so much smaller and compact than the 60 millimeter. And the focal length difference really isn't that much of a difference. Uh, the 60 is 240 and the 50 here is 190. So yeah, that's less weight on the rig too. So that's a plus as well. All right, let's get this thing mounted up. All right guys, so I got the scope covered back up. Keep some of that heat off of it until later this evening. Looking forward to trying this out. I'm, I'm really hopeful that this scope is gonna perform well and if it performs as well as I'm hoping, I'm just gonna leave this on my rig from now on and I'll just throw the other one on another telescope and uh, have that permanently mounted there. But I will be sure to uh, put this thing through the ringer tonight and post the results to you guys. So. Here's to some clear skies this evening and hopefully getting some good guiding results with this new guide scope.